gonna get the trio out momentarily. Let's give everyone else their bell pepper. some bell pepper around here as well. Now we just wait to see who's going to join. <clears throat> so we have lavender, autumn, and winter out on Easter floor time. And I've hidden some pellets and hay and veggies scattered throughout their little area. Um, for those of you who have seen my community post about uh, winter, I thought she was coming down with a URI because she started hooting the other day. And then she had a runny nose later that night. So I took her in the bathroom that night and I started to like, I took a Q-tip and gently just kind of cleaned off what I thought was guinea pig boogers. And then all of a sudden she stopped hooting and she was acting all back to normal. So I'm gonna keep a very close eye on her. And if I have to bring her to the vet, I will still take her to the vet. But so far she seems to be doing a lot better. Come on. Where are you going? So behind the scenes where you can't see, I have sectioned off where I keep all my guinea pig linens so that they can't get there. I've sectioned off underneath the bookshelf so they can't get there and I've walked off anything that where there's cords. So they are in a perfectly safe zone and I'm sitting back here because Bruno is behind me so we can't have any guinea pig babies happening. So if anyone's watching, feel free to say hi or comment. If you have questions, feel free to ask. It doesn't have to be about guinea pigs. I got my phone in my hand so I can keep track of comments. And most of all the other guinea pigs have already had their veggies, so they're not getting extra, but because it's floor time and I don't have any 
forage mix here, I figured I would just sprinkle a little bit of the veggies instead. So I gave them all their ivermectin this morning, but two of these girls here are due for their antifungal baths, so they will get that either tonight or tomorrow. And it'll probably be just the skinny pigs that I do for now, because it's still kind of chilly out, so I don't want anyone catching a chill. And as we speak, I have some homemade DIY guinea pig treats being dehydrated. And I'm basically making my own version of the healthy snackers. I ground up some Timothy pellets and I ground up two apples. And those are the only ingredients. But they won't be ready until very late tonight. Hopefully you are all having a very good Easter weekend. Um, I know not everybody celebrates Easter. I don't fully celebrate Easter. Not since my hubby passed away and I lost custody of my three kids. But for the guinea pig's sake, I try to stay in good spirits. What are you crying for, Savannah? And I do have my bedroom door, the guinea pig bedroom door closed so that they can't escape out of the room if they tried. Now, I'm pretty sure I set this to public. Hopefully it's working.
No, you so cute, Winter. You so cute. Yes, you are. Might as well get some pictures in at the same time. But they keep moving. That piggy train. Side. It says I have no viewers. Oh, now it says I have a viewer again. Hi, viewer. I hope you're doing well. So if you might notice, the one thing I did differently with this four time compared to usual is, ahead, aside from the fact that I, pre I prepared the area a little better because I blocked off anywhere that I don't want them to go, um, I also have, it's a very old piggy box that I got from last year, but I turned it into like a hay box and I cut out a section so if one of them wanted to climb in, they could. And I think when I get my ink capture turned, I'm going to try and see if I can get at least one or two more actual piggy boxes. Okay, so I see someone did write something, but it's not showing up. Oh, wait, there we go. Now it's showing up. Hey, Kay, how's it going? But yeah, so I'm going to hopefully try and see if I can get at least one or two more piggy box subscriptions when I get my income tax return. But... I don't know yet if I'm going to because it all depends on how much I get for my income tax return. There are so many plans I have that I want to do without money. But yeah. Hi, Ron. Uh, church is all done and it went well. That's good. I'm glad church went well. I What have I accomplished so far this morning? I did spot cleaning. I got my dishes done. Got laundry going. I have their dehydrated treats in the dehydrator. That won't be ready till later at night, though. And I set up their floor time. That's about all I've accomplished so far. Oh, ow. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, all I did was church and feed everyone lunch. Oh, yeah, the, most of the pigs have already had their veggie lunch or whatever. Um, their portion was a bit smaller than usual today. It's just the way the bags were portioned. So I do have extra veggies up here for after to give them a little treat because I did scatter some veggies around this floor time area for the pigs. 
The only spot they haven't got into yet is under this basket. So I don't know if it's just because they didn't feel like going over the lip or they just don't want to go in there. But I put it there as like just a hidey, kind of like an open end hidey so that you can still see them. Uh, Wayne is at the movies. Cool. My skinny pigs are precious. Well, thank you. So I don't know if you were in the live when I mentioned it, but I'll mention it again. So remember how I was saying the other day that Winter was hooting and then she had like nasal discharge that night or whatever. So I that night I picked her up and I brought her into the bathroom and I took a Q-tip gently and kind of tried to wipe away the discharge. And I'm thinking there might have been a piece of hay or something stuck like right in the entrance of her nose because she no longer has the nasal discharge. She's no longer hooting and she hasn't hooted or made any audible breathing noise in like 30 hours or so. So I know you did donate $20 to my PayPal, which is still in still sitting in PayPal. So um, if you want me to refund you, just let me know. I don't have a problem doing that. Or I could just keep it in PayPal for like emergency vet fund. But I'm still going to keep a close eye on winter. And like, obviously if I have to get her to the vet, I will make it happen. <laughs> uh, keep it for the piggies. Okay. So I will, uh, I'll probably end up transferring that into my account sometime this week. And then I'll put it directly into the savings fund for the guinea pigs. I just figured I wanted to be like completely transparent with you and anyone else who watches. Um, I'm not here to like take the money for myself kind of thing. Like any money that gets donated is directly and strictly for the guinea pigs, whether it's you know, getting them supplies that they need, hay, food, whatever it might be. But we don't have to get hay because I've got my five bale order that came in the other day. So we're stocked up on plenty of hay. Um, I've got their pellets for the month. We're good on that. I'm making their guinea pig treats. So we're good on that. So it is just to slowly rebuild the, uh, the vet fund. It's all we need to do. Hi, Lavender. You're smelling a piece of poop. Why are you sniff sniffing a piece of poop? Can I boop you? You're too far away. Boop. Uh, which piggy is Ginger? Ginger is this one right here with the fur. She's got. I can't tell if it's a white crest or if it just coincidence to have the white fur on the top. But yeah, this one right over here, it's like right in front of me that I'm pointing to. Uh, let's see. Ron says, my babies are still bonding with Chong. I thought you said the other day during Scotty's live that they were already bonded. Did I misunderstand that? So far, so good. Okay, well then, that's good. That's awesome, Ron. You know you're shaking the entire cage when you drink. Jeez. 
Ginger. <laughs> you shake the entire cage when you drink. The Carrot Tunnel came with the Piggy Box subscription last year. They usually have a promo. I don't know if they still have it, but every so often I'll see an advertised where with your first subscription order, you can opt to receive a free Carrot Tunnel. Now, the only thing I don't like about that is it's not waterproof. And no matter what type of liner I seem to put in it, they manage to turn the tunnel around and then the liner doesn't work because then it's no longer protecting the actual tunnel. So most times I only use that hair tunnel during four time. And I don't really do four time as often as I would like to. Ooh, Autumn found her way to the rest of the veggies. I think it's Autumn. Pretty sure it's autumn. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, yeah. Winter's in front of the hay box. I see now. And then this wooden plank thing right there used to be a ramp to a very large wooden hidey but it was too big and I got tired of lifting it every time I cleaned the cage. So I kind of tore it up into different parts. And I keep that as a, just in case I make another type of, Shane, you're messaging me with audio clips and I'm on live and I don't want to listen to it in case it's private information. So hopefully you will pop on to watch the live. <laughs> and yeah, so I keep it as a, just in case I need it as a ramp or to use as a tunnel on floor time. Cause otherwise I don't really have much accessories that I can use during floor time. Cause I don't want to have extra stuff when I don't really have floor time as often as I like. I mean, I prefer just having their cages as big as I can make it with the supplies I have, obviously. And I mean, I always say this every time. If I didn't have Bruno, then I would probably have a completely different layout for everybody's cage. And I would potentially bond like all the girls together if I could. But the only downside to doing that is the larger the herd, the more prone to illness they all are because if one gets sick, they could all get it. But if you have smaller pairs, trios, or just, you know, a small herd of four in separate cages, then it's easier to maintain illnesses. That's the observation I've noticed. Okay, so we got, mm, huh, we got lavender in the hay box. And we got autumn right there and we got winters in the basket area here. All right. Hmm. I'm just going to message Shane to let her know I'm on live YouTube at the moment and I don't want to listen to audio if there's personal detail. Just because I don't know what she has said and I don't want to listen to her audio over public social media right now if there's a chance that whatever she said could be, you know, personal private information. So I'm just letting her know that um, I can't listen to it right now. And of course, this snuggle sack is the one that I made. I want to get more boning at some point because I've got lots of material left of like the frog fleece and then whatever material I used on the inside. So I want to get, I want to get more like boning, which is what keeps the structure to keep it open. And I want to make some more cuddle sacks and or tunnels like that. 
but because I sew by hand, that's all a uh, <laughs> on the list of eventually, because I don't always have the time to just sit there and hand sew, and I have to be in the right mindset to do it. I still have a project sitting on my coffee table for over a month now that I have not even come close to completing. And I know a lot of you are going to say that I should invest in like a sewing machine or something, but one, I don't know how to use a sewing machine. I tried. I used to have one and I tried so hard. I've used different thicknesses of needles and everything and the needles just kept breaking. So I don't know what I was doing wrong. Or maybe the sewing machine I had was just very old. I don't know. But I ended up selling it and getting rid of it. And I'm kind of regretting that decision. So hopefully one day I will be able to like get an actual brand new sewing machine and learn how to use it and then like make my own accessories that's the word there you are hi shane i'm home from coaching for the yoga competition okay awesome yeah i'll listen to your audio messages later just i didn't know if it was personal stuff so i didn't want to listen to it and have everybody else hear it <laughs> and i also did not want to leave the room to listen to it because then i'd be leaving the pigs unattended and well i'm not doing that <laughs> Not when we have a cute male behind me. Boop. Boop. <laughs> so yeah, we're just having a little Easter four time video. I have I was I did hide some veggies scattered throughout the floor area and I see lavender found a piece already they ate most of it already they did have a veggie portion earlier but it wasn't their normal amount of veggies so yeah uh see Shane says yes shout out my personal details to everybody joking obviously yeah because I'm gonna do that <laughs> I mean, if I knew that it was nothing important, then I would have just whatever was into it. But because I didn't know, we're not, you know, playing that game. So I do have some more veggies here. And the entire orchestra is going to go leaking. So I'll just give Bruno a couple. Okay. I will give everybody a little bit so that they're not all miserable. Try and throw some at the other end for coconut. And a lot of it went on top of the sleep sport. Yeah. It's Easter, so they can have like a little extra treat today. Oh, we don't want to take lavender in the head. That would not be good. There. week you set off my piggies <laughs> that's awesome and thank you for all the hearts everyone i appreciate it let's see she says my boys don't even care today usually they weep when they hear your children lazy <laughs> could be just the time of day could be the time of day i've been wanting to do like a live for the past like three or four days now but for the last couple of days, every day that I wake up, I'm dealing with Facebook drama stuff, and then I'm just not in the mood to do a live, so I put it off. And then I was going to do a live where I'm just giving the guinea pigs their ivermectin, but I kept putting that off as well. 
And then this morning, while I was doing their cage cleans, I cleaned all the cages, but the floor was still a mess and all that. I said, screw it. We're doing the ivermectin and we're doing it like right now. So I grabbed two syringes half full, which would have been the equivalent of just one full syringe, which was enough to give everybody their ivermectin. And it was especially important that I not procrastinate any longer because I did notice that winter and lavender and autumn were scratching a little bit more than usual, but there's no visual signs of any fungal infections or anything like that. But the skin pigs are going to autumn and winter. They're going to get their antifungal bath either tonight or tomorrow because it'll be easier to, you know, quickly wash them down, dry them, and keep them warm than it would be the furry potatoes. Because the furry potatoes, I need to use the blow dryer, and that could be time-consuming. So we're going to wait till that is, uh, the weather's a little bit warmer for that. And uh, what else? I think that was about it. But yeah, so we got their ivermectin done. So we're good for three months. For anybody that's new watching the channel or that will watch the video once it's done, uh, ivermectin prevents and treats lice, mites, and internal parasites. I use the liquid one, which they call it an injectable kind, but really for guinea pigs, you can use it topically and you just put a little drop behind their ear. They have veins that are so thin in the ear flap that it it gets soaked in, in, into the bloodstream very quick. So I'll call it fast acting. <clears throat> and Bruno this morning got his board clean done. So he's a little happier. My garbage can wasn't though, because I had to empty it in with each tank. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he loved his uh, poor queen. Oh yeah, he screamed at me. But once it was done, he was happy. Is this a lettuce war? Because if it's a lettuce war, then I think lavender just scored. Because I saw that piece of lettuce fling out of one of your mouths. I did, I did. Excuse me. My Coca Cola is giving me some gas bubbles. So you all tell me how have you spent your day so far? 
you probably already did, but I don't know what to talk about, so I need people to like chat with each other or, or ask questions or something. Otherwise, it might be silent, and then it gets boring, and nobody wants to be boring. Or, or if at some point you want me to bring out different pigs on the floor, let me know. I can do that. I mean, it'll be fun trying to catch these three to put them back and get the others, but I mean, I can do that. We want to see other piggies. Don't chew the tunnel, Autumn. Autumn. Hey, stop chewing that. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Boop. Yes, I climbed underneath the table to do this. There's Okay, there's more comments on my computer screen than on my phone. What's going on? Okay. Do wiggle my way back out. Yes, laugh all you want. <clears throat> I made it. <clears throat> oh, okay, there we go. Now it's showing up. <clears throat> Let's see what did it say. Shane says, Well, I slept in the rain yesterday on my way to work. So I've been bedridden with the exception of going to the studio for a 30 minute coaching session. Oh, that's not good. Uh, yeah, I hurt my neck and my elbow. So I'm hurting very badly. I canceled yoga Pilates, but I'm glad to practice yoga because I could have broken something otherwise. You know, that is very true. And that's not good about uh, falling and hurting yourself. You're not supposed to do that. We can't have a broken chain. Yesterday, let's see, what did I do yesterday? Um, my usual routine of cleaning their cages. And then <coughs> I did... Facebook and YouTube stuff. Um, and then went swimming in the afternoon with some friends. And then we had a bit of a TV night. Got home early. Hung out with the neighbor for a little bit. And then... Where are you going, young lady? You have went off your blanket. You can't be doing that. Winter. Come back to the blanket. <coughs> yeah, I'd say winter is definitely feeling back to normal. Let's see. Do you have any medicine for the injury? Uh, Shane's broken. Just release her back into the wild. There's no hope for smack. Uh, just some ibuprofen, and I haven't taken it yet because I want my brain to kick in with its own endorphins. Good luck. Let me know how that works. <laughs> I usually try the same thing, and it never works for me. Uh, trying to establish the brain to body connection. I'm relieved winter is okay. Yes, I am glad she is too. 
Like, I was honestly so, so worried the other day when I heard her starting to wheeze. Or not wheeze. I thought it was wheezing, but it was hooting. And then later that night when I noticed, like, a nasally discharge, I was like, oh, no, it's getting worse. And I know when guinea pigs get sick, they go downhill very quick. So I was, like, really paranoid. And I'm, like, thinking there literally would be nothing I can do until Tuesday at the earliest. Because... Friday was Good Friday, so my vet was closed. They're normally closed on the weekend anyway. And then with tomorrow being a holiday, um, it just, it wouldn't work well. So I was kind of freaking out about that. And then I'm like, you know what? I decided I'm going to go kind of like, I wasn't trying to like blow her nose per se, but I did take her into the bathroom and I grabbed a Q-tip. And I was gently trying to wipe away any discharge to kind of see what color it might be. You know, if it's just clear or if what it was. And what I, I couldn't make out what color it was because it was so, so small. But whatever came off on the Q-tip must have helped because after that she was no longer hooting or anything. Excuse you. Stay on the blanket, please. They're all huddled right here. Uh, yeah, if uh, I was in your position, Leah, well, I would freak out too. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, so I was all panicked. So I did make a post on my community tab, you know, that if anyone did want to donate to help me get her to the vet, that, you know, they could, but they're not obligated to, of course. <coughs> and Kay generously had donated $20 towards that. Um, but so far she's doing better, so I don't have to take her to the vet. But it's going to be transferred into the my savings account this week, and it'll go into the vet fund. Why do you girls insist on going off of the blanket? Am I going to have to, like, literally set up an entire caged area as floor time? I don't want you to do that. The whole point of floor time is to have free roam space. Yes, you heard me. Sniff, 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 sniff. Boop. Boop. But yeah, so, so far, everyone is doing well. Um, trying to think. Tilly still gets the occasional wheezing sound. But not as bad as what it was before, and I've come to a conclusion, and this is based on experimental stuff here. Um, she doesn't like the smell of white vinegar. It irritates her nasal passages. My, uh, my dryer sheets that I was using to prevent, like, static and all that stuff, the one I was using before had a slight scent to it, and she did not like that. Where are you going? Winter! Get back on the blanket! Get back on the blanket! Thank you! But yeah, so... Uh, she doesn't... So, the dryer sheets is what was... The dryer sheets and the vinegar is what was irritating her... Her nasal passages, or her respiratory system. So, I need to... Reduce the amount of white vinegar I use, partially also because it could actually ruin your washing your washing machine. Uh, okay, you want to see Bruno? Okay, um, I will put the girls back up in their cage, and then I'll let Bruno roam around. If I can catch the girls, this is the fun part because now I gotta like overtower them. I don't like doing that. Okay. Well then. One, two. Come on, three. Thank you. Well, that was easy. I had all three of them in the carriage auto. That was awesome! Don't do that at home. <laughs> By the 
way, Bruno's gonna go next because he's gonna smell the girls on the blanket. Just be prepared. Come here, Bruno. Everyone wants to see you. Come on. Here's Bruno. Okay. <laughs> That's the easiest you will ever have it, putting them away. Yeah, that would be the easiest ever, 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 ever. Let's, see, let's give them a little more green pepper. because he smells the grills, but he can't find them. <coughs> yeah, I normally don't recommend picking up guinea pigs in an open-ended tunnel like that, especially when there's multiples in there because you don't know if they're gonna try and back up, but I did have both my arms like kind of blocking the entryway. So they would have had to go even higher to back up and escape. Oh, he is going nuts. Look at him, look at those freaking bajunky dunks. You rub them balls all over. Oh, you do that. This blanket is going in the wash as soon as we're done. <coughs> <laughs> I usually don't like doing that to him, but I mean, he requested seeing him. I had to. I had to provide. His suitcases will be everywhere. Oh come on, my channel. I do not. I do not consider it family oriented. Okay, I really don't. I should, but I don't. So, don't hesitate to say the word balls. Because they are balls. And I'm getting clear view of Bruno's balls. Balls, 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 balls. <laughs> Hey, come back here. Get on the blanket, Bruno. What is it with you pigs? You all want to escape from where you're allowed to go. Waddle, 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 waddle. It's not where the veggies are, I silly. Oh, you're going to mark your scent there, too. Okay. Mark your balls there. I mean, rub your balls. He is having the time of his life. Oh, friggin' right he is. Boop. Boop. <laughs> yeah, I might as well let him enjoy the free roam space too a bit because, I mean, I don't know why he prefers a 2 by 3 over a 2 by 4 Well, like, literally, there's one area in my, in the guinea pig room here that all the guinea pigs just don't seem to like, and I, I haven't figured out why yet. And it's where, right now, where Ramona and Casper's cage is, where Bruno used to be, for some reason, none of the pigs really like that wall. I'm wondering if that wall is haunted or something. <laughs> but that's okay. 
Probably just me. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniff that snoot, snoot. Oh, Bruno, you're too big to go under that tunnel, I think. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Yes, the girls were out here before. <laughs> sniff, sniff, sniff. Boop. Bruno's hiding in the cuddle sack. Oh, Wayne's home. Thank you for Bruno. Talk to you later. Take care. Say hi to Wayne. My God, Bruno, can you rub those balls there any any more than that? <laughs> Hi. Shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. No, it was funny. I could put this cuddle sack in his cage and he will not use it for the life of him. He will just sit on top of it. But now he's actually going inside of it. I think the key is the fact that it smells like females. It's got to be it, because otherwise he would never, ever use it. Shake, 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 shake your booty, or in his case, shake your balls, shake your balls. See if I can get some pictures of Bruno. No, oh, he's grooming himself. No, oh, ow. I just gotta kind of wait for him to come out. Oh, really, Bruno? Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> oh, my God. I wanted a picture of your face, not your balls. Shane, I'm going to have to send you this one after. You're going to laugh. Just as hard, if not harder than I am. Bruno. Beautiful boy. I want a picture of your face, not your balls. I mean, I know it's Sunday, but come on. Mm. 
Bruno. Bruno. Good boy. A good boy. Oh, mama's good boy. Some of these pictures. Okay, nope, that's blurry. That's a blurry one. Okay, that one's good. Oh, that's perfect. We'll delete the other one because that's not as good. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, um, I'm hungry. Uh, wait, what the heck did I miss? I uh -huh. Got it. I'm going to laugh. Yes, you are going to laugh at the picture I'm going to send you after. Because I want to get a picture of his face and I got something else. No, did I scare you? No, oh, it's funny. I could put a litter box in his cage and he wouldn't use it. But I put a cardboard box and he loves it. He normally doesn't like hay piles. What the heck? Oh wait, it smells like girls. That's why. It smells like girls. Does it smell like girls? Oh my god, sniff, sniff, sniff. Come on, camera. Work for me, work for me. Brilliant. It's still kind of blurry, but that's okay. Come on, come into focus. Come into focus. I'll have better luck rewatching the live and then um, getting actual screenshots from it. would say but I remember last summer can't wait to do it again this summer but last summer uh, I went out with my friends Karen and Marty and we went for a drive uh, I think we were doing some like geocaching or something and we were driving by some like uh, private farms or whatever and somebody had a bunch of Highland cows right I didn't know that they were Highland cows at the time but I want to take a picture of the cow so I can try and like reverse Google image to find out what kind of cows they were. And I also want to get a little video recording because I was going to use it as part of video content as to what I did that weekend. And anyway, in the video clip, all of a sudden my friend decided to blurt out, ah, oh my God, it's so cute. I want to pet it. And it was just the way she said it and repeated it like three times. It was so funny. It was just too funny. I want to pet it. Bruno. What does hay taste like? Blech. Blech. <laughs> Y'all, I took a taste of what hay tastes like and it tastes horrible. I don't know how the guinea pigs like it. Please don't chew the tunnel. Thank you. Ugh. 
I will never eat a piece of hay again. That was gross. You can have it, Bruno. You can eat the hay. It's all for you guys. You tasted hay that... <laughs> no, no. I grabbed one that he was not in. Bruno did not rub his balls on it because that would be even more nasty. <coughs> but I guess you could say I took a little bit for the team as well. Can you imagine that, though? Can you imagine if I did? Oh, okay. Um, my friend Jessica messaged. Last time I just posted this on one of the groups. Happy Easter from my ancient fossil 11. He's waiting on his Easter breakfast veggies, and he looked old. Hey, Jess, that's really awesome that that guinea pig is, like, 11 years old. I'm on YouTube Live. Come search for me. I'm doing four-time video. Bruno's out on the floor right now, and before it was my trio, and I might have a couple more come on the floor. We'll see. Everybody seems to message and whatever when I'm doing a YouTube live. Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no. Guess what? We always talk about Bruno. Yes, yes, yes. I know, you're thinking, stick your day job. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, awesome. Good. <laughs> come join. Come watch the piggy. Weak, weak, weak. Weak, 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 weak. Bruno. Weak, weak. There you are. Hey, Jess. Bruno's in here. He put himself in jail. <laughs> Are you behind bars? Are you behind bars, my love? He's like, I'm going to escape. I can see the exit. Sniff, 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 sniff. I, I smell girls. Where are they? I smell girls. You love to show me your balls, don't you? <laughs> And Ron says, I have a baby Abby and baby Ridgeback. Awesome! I have a lot of Abyssinians. I've got crested American short hairs. I've got American short hairs. I have skinny bigs, and I have a Shiba. Bruno, every time you walk on the bare floor, it sounds like you're walking in high heels. Do I need to make some, like, piggy-safe high heels for you? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Don't worry. Um, yeah, it, that was awesome with uh, Saskia popping into uh, Scotty's life. They, all, they, they do that to one another every so often. I find... A lot of the bigger um, content creators, they'll pop in and watch on other people's lives, but sometimes they won't even say a thing. Or they'll just pop and be like, hey, everyone, and then they don't really comment or say anything else. So you never know how long they're actually watching. Like, because I used to watch... Uh, the pig room, Alyssa and Pat's, um, Autumn Grace and all that. And, I mean, they seem to um, interact more on Instagram compared to YouTube. 
but even on there, like sometimes they'll just pop in and be like, Hey, how's it going? And then that's all you hear from them. So you never know who's actually watching the content. So, I mean, sometimes it is important to try and maintain like a bit of a professional, sophisticated type attitude kind of thing. But you know what? Sometimes it's important to just let loose and have fun. And I mean, for me to say the term balls because of, you know, Bruno isn't a bad thing because it's a reality. Bruno is a male guinea pig. He has testicles. He has hormones. And he's going to rub them balls all over to mark his territory with his perineal glands. But I mean, if I get into scientific terms, then people are like, ugh. You know what, you know too much, da 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 I mean, they don't actually say that, but, you know, that's kind of what I think in my head, right? So, yeah. Uh, it's always good to stay friendly. Yes, it is. But, of course, because I had the girls out and now Bruno's out on the floor, um, we're talking a lot about balls. Because my friend Shane, known as Guinea Pig Guardian here, my moderator, <laughs> uh, she was trying to maintain a more family-friendly terminology, calling them suitcases. I'm like, oh, just call them for what they are. Say it. It's balls. They are balls. Balls, 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 balls. <laughs> it was funny. Um, I was watching a live <clears throat> where Saskia actually swore. Wow, I thought the whole thing was weird. Oh, it is hilarious. I, I think I remember that, too. Because a lot of people try to maintain a very, like, professional standing and like especially well especially for Saskia's channel because it is very family oriented it is absolutely family oriented 100 percent so she, I know she tries not to swear and this and that but then the odd time when someone who doesn't swear or you've never heard them swear anyway accidentally er, excuse me accidentally lets one slip out it is hilarious because they're like oh my god oops 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 I'm sorry I didn't say that and just it's so funny <clears throat> and I mean, like, for me, on my videos or on my lives, most often times, if you hear me actually cursing, like saying the F word or anything more than that, you know it's because I'm really angry and really upset about something. But, I mean, saying balls is not really swearing, so it's nothing really bad, in my opinion. Actually, another really um, bigger, like, a bigger YouTube content creator channel than mine, obviously way bigger, because she's got, like, two point something subscribers, I think. Um, her name's Olivia something. It starts with a K. I don't know how to pronounce it. But she's got four male guinea pigs, two separate pairs. And, oh my god, her personality is just hilarious. Like, her one skinny pig, Stanley, has, like, the absolute biggest set of balls that I have seen on a skinny pig in my life. It is really funny the way she, she'll, she'll hold, the, the you know, Stanley, or she'll take a picture and she'll be like, oh my god, like, just look at them balls, like, they're so huge. And it's, it's hilarious. It really is. Um, I will find the channel for you when I'm done my live and I clean everything up. And I will send you the link to her channel. She's actually, she's also a member in the guinea pig community group on Facebook. But she doesn't really post much and she doesn't comment on posts as often. Unless, like, you tag her kind of thing. Which I did once because... Someone posted a picture of their skinny pig with a giant set of balls. <laughs> and so I had to tag her and I'm like, your guinea pig has competition. <laughs> <clears throat> Leah, you know I use suitcases as a joke. I know. I know you do. I totally know you do. And I know that behind the scenes you swear all the time, girl. I know. But I mean, come on. I have nothing else to talk about, so I gotta kind of poke fun a little bit. All right, do we want to see any other guinea pigs out on the floor? 
I've already had Lavender, Autumn, and Winter out, so they're up for the day. Bruno is currently out. But if anyone wants to see any other piggies, <clears throat> let me know. I will put Bruno away and I will get those piggies out. Coconut. And you want to see Ramona and Casper. Okay, how about I will put Bruno away. I'll bring Ramona and Casper out on the floor. And then before we end the live, I'll just pick up Coconut and let you see her. I don't want to put Coconut out on the floor, mostly just because of the fact that she's like going deaf and blind there. So she's used to the layout of her cage with the other seven pigs in there. But I don't want to put her out on floor time and have her like bump into things or whatever. So I'll, I'll bring out Ramona and Casper and then I'll bring Coconut as the ending face to see. Now let me find Bruno. I found him, but now I gotta catch him. Okay. I love this tunnel. Come on. There you go. Okay. They're being summoned, girls. Come here. <laughs> There's one. There's two. more. <laughs> That's it. We went through two of these bags. No more veggies after this. But then I don't need anybody having mushy poops. Okay, well the catch and release tunnel program is very handy. It very much so is. I mean, I can't toss veggies for the four time and not offer it to the rest. You know, it's almost supper time and I don't know what I want for supper. What am I going to have for supper? I've been having a lot of pizza lately. I don't want more pizza. And I don't, well, like, mm, do I want a hamburger? I should totally make a hamburger. I need more protein in my diet. <clears throat> yeah, I will make a hamburger for supper. Oh good, 41% humidity in here. I like that. So I have a hydrometer up there that I got last year from Timu. 
and it tells me the temperature in the room as well as like what percentage of humidity level it is in the room. But all winter, no matter what I was able to, like no matter what I did, the humidity level was always like 30% or below and that's never really good. And it'll tell me like a smiley face if it's a good percentage or a sad face if it's a bad percentage. So I need to, for next winter, I need to invest in a decent sized humidifier so that I could kind of boost the humidity level during the winter season because the air gets too dry and that's never good. But you also don't want it to be too humid in the room either. Sounds like a handy tool. It is very much a handy tool. I love it. But it also makes me paranoid when I see the percentage <laughs> with the sad face. It's like, I'm doing everything I can. What more can I do? So we'll kind of call this the veggie hunt. I mean, I didn't really hide it per se for most of the pigs, but when I first had the trio out on the floor, I did hide veggies. Like I had some in the care tunnel, I had some in the cuddle sack, I had some in the hay box here, I had some underneath this basket, I had some within the foraging mat that, you know, even I put pellets there and I don't think they did much with that. But I, you know, I, I left the opportunity there. <laughs> um, okay, I got too humid over the winter in the piggy room. Yeah, you don't want it to be too humid. Because if the humidity level is too high, then that can also attract, like, pests, like, gnats and all kind of other bugs and stuff. So you want it to be like within a certain range. I don't remember what range that is though. Scotty would be a better person to ask on that question. Um, with laundry hanging up, I have to hang all the really wet stuff in the bathroom and almost dry stuff in their room. Oh yes, and mold. Definitely 100% in mold. You definitely don't want that. Yeah, I'm I'm blessed that I have a working washer and dryer in the basement. Um, so yeah, I ordered a new um, drain hose for my washer because it was leaking all over the place. And the one day I decided, you know what, let's we're gonna go on YouTube and we're gonna search up what would cause the washing machine to leak. So there was four different things that they had listed. Please don't eat that tape. That's why I initially took this bin away. Um, so, yeah, um, I ended up watching the YouTube thing or whatever to find out what causes it to leak, and there was four different things that potentially cause it to leak. The number one would be, like, a hole within the drain hose. Then they also said something about cleaning out the washing machine filter where the hose connects. Now, I didn't find any actual filter, but I did remove the hose from the machine, drained out any excess water, which there was a lot of freaking water. Like I could have, I, I could have went splish splash with my feet. That's how much water there was. And then, so yeah, I took it apart. I think I found that there was a big crack in the drain hose. So I ordered a new one from Amazon, connected that last week, uh, last Saturday. I believe it was last Saturday. No. No, I think it was last Friday, just before Scotty's live. Anyway, yeah, so I... Oh, God. <clears throat> I got that fixed. And then for the first couple of days after connecting the new hose, it stopped. Like, it wasn't working properly. It was still leaking. And I was, like, getting all paranoid. I'm like, what's going on? Why is it not working? And oh my god, you're so cute, Moose! It worked. Uh, 
Okay, what was I saying? <laughs> um, yeah, so the first couple of days after connecting the new drain hose to my washer, it was still leaking. So I was like, are you kidding me? Like, did I seriously just waste like $26? And I'd already threw out the packaging and I already used the box that it came in. So there's no way of being able to return it. Plus, I had to cut part of the hose to make it fit my washer properly. The way it was designed, it was, in my opinion, stupid. But in any case, so after the first two or three days of me replacing it, then all of a sudden it's no longer leaking and it's working a million times better than what it was before. So I'm super happy. Yay, I fixed my washer. Yes, I want a gold medal. I will receive it the second Tuesday of next week. Yes, I know I will never get my gold medal. <laughs> okay. Uh, Casper's right there. Okay, Ramona's in the hay box. What, did I spook you? Did I spook you? <clears throat> yeah, speaking of laundry, I still have laundry to switch over after this. But I was going to switch my laundry over before starting the live. And then I decided I'm not going to do that right away because after the live, obviously, I'm going to have to wash the forging mat and the blanket here just in case someone peed on the forging mat. I don't know. Would you get back on the blanket, Casper? Get on the blanket. Come back on the blanket, young lady. Thank you. And yeah, I keep getting sidetracked and forgetting what I was saying. And yes, I keep spooking the guinea pigs I know. They're just not used to me being like right here and then like talking as much as I'm talking right now because I don't. I need to start recording more of my videos in the guinea pig room, to be honest. I really do. But it's so hard because it's easier to have my information just on the laptop. In I keep my laptop downstairs in the living room. But I really should do more video recording with me talking in this room still. Um, I thought it was funny that you spooked the one who has a ghost name. <laughs> yeah, I spooked Casper. <laughs> Casper, get back on this blanket, young lady. You're like the fifth pig to go over there. Ramona, don't be following your sister. She's being a bad girl. Uh-oh, they're both off camera. Yeah, they went in the corner over there, but I have it sectioned off so that they can't really get to anything that I don't want them to. I also just don't want to keep getting up to, you know, fetch them because then it's going to spook them. And I want to kind of get them used to, you know, me being here. And if they want to come up to me, then they'll come closer to me kind of thing. Like when I had the trio up down here on the floor, not up down here, but when I had the trio down here on the floor, um, Autumn and Winter kept coming up to me. Lavender came pretty close. So... If they want to come up to me, they will. <clears throat> Casper is right here by the forging mat. Ramona is in the carrot tunnel.
Discord. I will check that later. Did you just popcorn? I can't tell if you just popcorn. Ooh, popcorn. I want popcorn. Maybe I'll have popcorn when I'm watching a movie or something later. Popcorn with the cheddar spice seasoning stuff that I have. Oh, that'd be so good. Yes, I'm getting hungry because it's just about supper time. It's 5.30 p.m. where I live. And this has been going for about an hour. Okay, it's not too bad. So we will let this go for another 10 minutes and then I will try and get the girls back up in their cage and then start tidying up a little bit and then we'll bring coconut out to end the show if you want to call it a show it's up to you what are you girls complaining about up there You've definitely had a lot of veggies today. There should have be there should be no complaining. And Casper's in the carrot tunnel. I think. No, she's not in the carrot tunnel. Oh, she's in the hay box, I see now. My So the screen on my phone is, like, delayed for some reason. And the shocking thing is there is not as much poops on the floor as I expected there to be. That is so bizarre. We had three, four, no, five, six, six guinea pigs on the floor in the past hour, and there's not that many poops. Unless you're just hiding in spots that I can't see. But it's possible that there's going to be a lot more poops in the hay box. That is a possibility. I didn't think of that. Well, Ramona and Casper would definitely be more, like, potty train type thing than any of the others because they're they have an actual like litter box in their cage so I use a, I've been using a hay bag and I also like pile a little bit of hay in front of it and then that's where they spend a lot of their time and they, they they're good at taking turns Ramona what are you eating Ramona no. Thank you. I'm going to have to, like, cut off those straps or something, which I don't want to do because then I can't fold up the tunnel for storage. But every single guinea pig that goes near that tends to chew on it. But, yeah, Ramona and Casper have a litter box in their cage, so they'd be, like, the most known to use it. If I put a box like that in Bruno's cage, he's never used it. Or maybe it's just because it's a loose pile. He doesn't seem to like loose piles of hay. But maybe if I was to put it in a box like that, maybe he would enjoy it more. I will have to experiment with that. And, well, my herd, I know they would definitely use a litter box, but because there's a lot of, there's, like, at least three seniors in that cage. I gotta be mindful that they can access the hay easily. So I just don't bother with litter trays for that, that cage. And for my trio, they would probably use it, but it would also be a lot more cleanup more frequently because skinny pigs pee and poop like twice as much compared to regular 
Quem deve ser? Okay. So, guinea pigs are liking... Sorry, I didn't mean to spook you. I just want to get a little more comfortable for this second. But, um, okay. So, they like using a little box like that. Okay, if I can find more cardboard boxes like that, then maybe I could, you know, use one or two of them in each of the cages, and it doubles up as a chew toy, which is fine. And then when it gets really gross, then I just throw it out. That could work. You can't eat the table. The legs are made of metal. If you try and chew that, it'll hurt. I see you, Ramona. You are so fluffy and cute, and I want to kiss you all over. Oh, look, I found a lettuce. Oh, they are just so fluffy and so cuddly. If you munch on that hay, I love seeing you girls eat hay. Well, and Bruno. Yes, I love seeing you eat hay because hay is so awesome. Oh, I, you might have missed it, Jess, but I, I tried to eat a strand of hay to taste it, and it tasted so horrible. I will never in my life do that again. But I sort of took one for the team. And then Shane was teasing me, saying that I ate a piece of hay that Bruno had rubbed his balls all over because he was rubbing his balls like everywhere. <laughs> and that was after I put the trio up and brought him down. Well, at least they are behaving and staying where they're supposed to. Casper, I just finished praising you. Do you have to make a mockery out of me? Casper. You heard me. Okay, it's already been 10 minutes. So we're going to try and get these girls back up, and then I will bring coconut out. Oh. Because I do want to eat supper at a reasonable time. Now i got to catch them. Okay, well, i got one.
There we go. Good girl. I'm gonna have to watch that pedal sack. It's full of peepees. We're going to let Bruno have his box for the night. And then by tomorrow, we can throw it out. That way it doesn't go to waste. And, okay. He was just dripping. I'm going to have to wash that. Just gonna go stick that in my shower because it doesn't take long for me to wash that. Don't worry, I will still bring out coconut for you, Shane. This bit of a mess. So one thing I hate is having a mess. Oh, that can be the garbage after too. Garbage is delayed because of the holiday. Since technically today is the holiday. Sorry, I know you're looking at my garbage can at the moment. I'm trying to be quick. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now that most of you have had a very fun-filled exercise day, they will probably be snoozing for the next like three or four hours on and off. 
so it won't be really fully active more until later. And that's okay. But it is also good to know that if I was able to build like a giant cage for them, that they would probably make use of like every nook and cranny. Okay, coconut. Coconut. I like it. Come here, bro. Come here, baby. Can we see something? How's your feetsies? Okay. You got one foot that's red, that one's red. Okay. So we're gonna have to put some cream on it, but um because she's senior and she doesn't move around a lot, you can see she's got urine scald. So we've been putting some cream on it. And that helps with it. Her hands were like her 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 top hands here, her paws were a lot more red than before. So it's getting better. We've been keeping up with um, daily or daily spot cleanings twice a day, removing soil bedding and all that, which has been definitely helping a bit too. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go get the cream that I normally use so I can show you in case you uh, want to try it out yourself. So I will be right back with her. It's okay, coconut. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So I've been using this product here. Um, I can I got it on Amazon. It was only like ten bucks or less, I think. But it uh, it soothes, relieves dry, cracked paws. And like even though her paws aren't like necessarily cracked, it's been helping. Yeah, I gotta try and open it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put you here for a split second. Just till I open it. There we go. I still have some of the, uh, the the, the grids. Uh, blocking off the areas that I didn't want them going to. So I just had to place her down for a moment so I can open it. So yeah, we just take like a little bit and just gently rub it on the affected area. Now I should be doing this twice a day, but uh, I will admit that I've been slacking a bit and forgetting sometimes with the whole winter thing going on. I just kind of forgot. And it's no excuse, but I am human. But as you can tell, she seems to enjoy that for the most part. And she's waving hi to you. Good girl, coconut, good girl. Good girl. All right, now we're gonna put her back because she is not a big fan of being held as much anymore. But this is coconut, as promised. Say bye. Can you wave bye? Wave bye. You were just doing it. Oh, there you go. Okay. So this has been going on for almost two hours. I think it's definitely a long enough live. It's probably the longest I've done in quite a while. Uh, 
this is what I was using to block off where my linen area is because anytime I have Ramona and Casper on the court, that's the first place they try to go to is in behind there. And I don't want them going there. So I use that to block it off. And well, most of the other guinea pigs don't try to go there, but sometimes they would. So I block that off. And then I have normal CNC grids blocking off where the shelf is, which is where the computer's sitting right now. So yeah, we're gonna put this away. I don't need my head. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah. So, that last bit to put away is just this that sectioned off my bookshelf. And if you want to see me struggle, then I can keep the lab going just a tiny bit longer. There you go, Coconut Auntie Shane says, love you. It doesn't help when my hands are kind of slippery from the cream. Oh, there we go. Yeah, always good to have spare grids and My hand is wet. I'm gonna have to wash my hands. Weird. Yeah, always good to have spare grades and spare um, parts around just in case you need to block things off or create another cage for, you know, like um, like medical cages or whatever. At least when you have as many pigs as I do. certain spots for everything and if things are out of place then I'm not comfortable but yeah okay we're gonna end the live thank you everyone for tuning in I hope you had fun watching the piggies and I will see you all in the next video bye enjoy your Easter weekend